check. This place hasn't been used in a while. It's a perfect place to hide out from any rolling squad cars. Do you have a death wish? What were you thinking, hitting that cop? I hope it felt really good. I actually, it did. Great! Because you know what you accomplished? You put us right back where we started. Running from the law. That cop was a disgrace to his badge. One minute he was abusive, and the next minute he couldn't bend over far enough because he found out I was a Zakara. The last straw was when he started hurling insults at you. Uh, who cares what some dirty cop who we'll never see again says about I me? I do. Well, I care about you, and it concerns me how crazy you got. Even after the cop had backed way off, you got even madder until you finally blew up and hit him in the face. Well, you know what? You know how many cops are on my father's payroll? How many innocent lives are at the non-existent mercy of my father because cops like that are paid to look the other way? If this is about you rebelling against your family, I have news for you. You accomplished exactly the opposite. What do you mean? What do I mean? As we speak, you and probably me are wanted for assaulting an officer, and the only way to get out of it is to use the Zakara influence, so you're going to have to call Trevor and tell him exactly no, 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 what I happened. I am not calling Trevor or anybody else in my family and asking them for help ever again. Look, I'm the only fugitive here. You are under no obligation to stay. Don't be ridiculous. I love you. If you're on the run, I'm on the run. Anyway, it'll be a lot more fun than going to New York because I am not cracking up yet. <laughs> well, maybe it's my turn. It was stupid and reckless for me to go the cop. Well, it, he was a jerk for trying to hassle people. You were just jumping down my throat for punching the guy out. Yes, I am not saying he didn't deserve it. It's not the punch that was the problem. It's the reason behind it. You would have walked away if that cop hadn't cowered at the mention of the Zakara name, but that's what blew your head off. Welcome to my life, and I'm sick of it. I want to get away from that fear and loathing that sets in every time somebody finds out who I am. You want to know the irony of the situation? Is that the blood that flows through me, the Zakara blood that I hate so much, is exactly what made me lash out and hit the guy and sabotage our escape. Maybe it's fixable. I don't know. It works for me, but what about you? You're gonna miss your father and your brothers. What if your mother comes back? I gotta break something down for you, okay? Parents have kids. The kids grow up. They find love of their own. And sometimes the love takes them to far off places. And then they have this thing called visiting. I get it. Well, then get it loud and clear and understand that my place is with you. Greetings, couple of ever-escalating drama. Maximista and I are here at your service. Speak for yourself. I'm not a willing participant. What's the problem? Don't you think you're being a little melodramatic? I mean, yes, Johnny hit a cop, but it's not like he killed anyone. Is it necessary for you guys to leave town? It is, or else we wouldn't have called you. Haven't I done enough for you this year? If you really felt that way, why didn't you say no on the phone? Because Spinelli is making me a much nicer person. And now my first instinct is to help others, regardless of my reservations or concern for my own self-preservation. Oh, good, then let's just go with that first instinct and lend assistance to our dear friends. So, if you are intending to go on the lamb, as it were, uh, a safe assumption might be that you need some supplies, maybe some cyber assistance? Yeah, well, food and water. I was kind of hoping you could get us some clothes. That's a really good way to attract attention to yourself, running from the law and the latest designer wear. I was thinking something a little more downscale. What, you want me to go into one of those mega stores to buy you some clothes? It'll broaden your horizon. Okay, look, where your skills are going to come in, we need some fake IDs and car registration. Hold, hold on, okay, this is starting to sound like a really bad idea. Do you remember the last time we tried to help Lulu flee from the law? She went crazy. Yeah, but the original blonde one's psyche is much stronger now, and if... If she does want to stand by her man, as the Empress Wynette decreed, it is our duty as her closest friends to help her facilitate. Hey, Maxie, there's also, you know, the bonus that you get to have Kate and Crimson all to yourself. Been there, doing that, and it's not all that it's cracked up to be. You don't like your job anymore? Don't be an idiot. I love my job. But part of the fun was bossing you around, and I kind of miss you when you're not there. But this isn't about me, right? So if this is what you and Johnny need to do, then... Spinelli and I will make it happen. Uh, Maxie and Spinelli should be back by now. Uh, it hasn't been that long. Man, too bad this place is closed down. This looks like one of those good places you can rent out by the day. 
Is that something you would be interested in? This sounds like heaven. I could use a dedicated place to work on my cars and... Good Whoa, did you just say work on your cars? Yeah. <laughs> I'm what? sorry, well, here, I just thought you only knew how to... Change the oil and make them look all shiny. Look, I will have you know I'm great with all my cars. I do all my really? own repairs. Wow, yeah. that is impressive. Well, but, you know, I bet you don't know how to hotwire one. Are you serious? Yeah. After all the talks we've had, everything you know about me, you honestly think I don't know how to hotwire a car. Okay, you're right, I don't. <laughs> but I've seen it done on TV. Oh, that, that helps. Well, then it's a good thing that I'm here because my father made sure I knew how to hotwire a car before I left the fourth grade. Wow. Hey, you don't have to go through with this. Seriously, I hate the idea of you missing your family and the people that you love because I lost my temper. We've already agreed. We're in this together. There's a bag with food and soda oh, in my car. Oh, thank you so much, Maxie. Why are you hugging me? I don't. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Jackal brings tidings of joy. It's a little early for Christmas wishes, mm -hmm. Spinelli. Um, did you get the figurines? I am happy to report that they're no longer necessary. What does that mean? Well, there's no need for you to take your romance on the road because the crime that would have warranted such an action, namely the assault on a graph-taking police officer, was never reported. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs>